Finnish black metal time with a band with their third album. This is Sacrifium Carmen or Sacrificium Carmen. And uh, this one is uh, trickier to pronounce. Well, not exactly for me because it's a Finnish name, but I'll soon show you if I'm able to uh, uh, take this jewel case out of it. It seems this is already a little bit broken. Very, very dark and all black. Negrognosis. Avain Varjoihin, A Key to the Shadows. This is almost one hour of music with the sense of melodic Finnish black metal. Not the best by the band, nor the worst. Actually, this is a band that has never, uh, never released a bad album, this being their third one. So, all in all, I would say this is kind of a basic quality for the band that sounds very Finnish, and also, in a sense, very German. And why so is that a lot of German bands these days, for some reason, uh, sound like they're coming from Finland. There's a strong connection these days with the German and Finnish melodic black metal, and uh, this is not, a, not an exception to that. Now, it can be a really good thing for a lot of you, and also for a lot of people, a little bit boring. I don't know. Uh, but here we are with the band in question. So Sacrificium Carmen has been active for a little more than 10 years now. And during those years, since 2015, they have been releasing albums. This is the third album from 2021. So every three years they have put out a new release, a new album anyway. And the style indeed is quite basic. One could say very traditional second wave uh, black metal which is not exactly the most original out there, but at least it's exactly what you're supposed to get when you're getting a uh, second wave black metal release with the modern touch. And by modern touch, I mean it doesn't really sound in the 90s in terms of uh, production and some of the melodies are some somehow more 2020s. But still, this is kind of a timeless attempt to do black metal in a very, very traditional way. Like I said, not exactly first wave, but should you pinpoint this to a certain year, 94 or 2002 or something like that? Yeah, it's kind of a hard, at least for me. I mean, I feel like this is an album that could have come out already some 20 years ago and it would just make sense. Anyway, this runs for some 50 minutes plus and it's almost like too much of the given style. There's not much variety or diversity on this album. It's more like, yeah, you're having a couple of key elements which you're going by through the rest of the album. Can't really bitch about it because it's, like I said, quality all the way. But if you're looking for more variety in terms of songwriting, like slower tempos or some songs which would be totally different from the main course, that's not too much of that. Everything is kind of a grim sounding black metal and you have grim vocals, you have the kind of melodies, you have the fast tempo, you have the kind of a dark prisons and all that stuff. So not exactly phenomenal in any possible way. But then again, when you listen to it, it's actually a enjoyable black metal release all the way. Not exactly an album of the year material, but then again, definitely able to kick ass of most black metal releases throughout the year. Why so? Because this doesn't have exactly something that I would call weak links. Now, if you previously liked some Sacrificium Carmen material, there's no reason why you wouldn't like this one. However, if you're looking for something different, something unique, something one of a kind, this is not, maybe not the album you're looking for. Anyhow, links provided in the description, folks, for your uh, listening pleasure, so you can decide for yourself by listening to the band and figure out whether or not this is your stuff. Already out since December 2021, so available through your favorite distros or labels in case you're looking for a physical copy. Thank you for checking out the review. Should you have comments or questions, let me know in the comments box below.